You asked me to figure out where this video was recorded, so I did. Hi, I'm Jose Monkey, and I find people who ask to be found. This is a good one, guys. Aerial videos like this can be difficult to geolocate if you can't find a good landmark to use as a point of reference. But fortunately, we had a few good landmarks in this case. So what can we see? This video gives us a view of, well, the ground. We can see a variety of different features here. Some buildings, roads, uh, some rivers, and what looks like an airport. We can also see two notable mountain peaks off in the distance. The one on the right was a little bit harder to make out, but the one on the left was pretty clear. Based on what I was seeing for the mountain on the left, I was pretty sure that that was Mount Rainier in Washington State. And when I compared what we see in the video to photos of Mount Rainier, I was pretty sure that that was right. That meant that the other mountain that we see on the right was most likely Mount St. Helens. I used Google Maps 3D view to try to figure out where that would put us. And based on what I could see, I figured that meant that the pilot had to be to the west of these mountains flying south. Okay, so that gave us a rough area. I find that in situations like this, one approach that I like to use is to try to find multiple different landmarks that I can use to triangulate the position of the viewer. I didn't actually do any fancy math for this, I just thought this was a cool diagram. Anyway, based on the position of the two different mountains that we could see, that gave me a rough area, and then I started using other landmarks that we could see on the ground to try to refine it from there. As I mentioned, I noticed an airport here, and that is the Chehalis Centralia Airport. That gave me an even better idea of where this was. Then I used some other landmarks, like this windy river that we see and this triangular arrangement of streets, to try to get an even more precise location. Based on all of those things and looking at the video and comparing it to the Google Maps 3D view, I was able to get a very close approximation of where this was. You are here, flying south over Lewis County, Washington. Okay, so like I said, that was an approximation, but I was pretty sure I could do better. I knew that if I could figure out the tail number of this plane, I could get the flight path of this flight and see where it was that day. So I pulled up this person's profile, and just to be clear, I already knew basically where this was. I was trying to get more precise. But I pulled up their profile and I started looking for videos that might show me the outside of this plane so I could find out what the tail number was. It was a little bit tricky because they had a few different videos that featured planes, but I did find this one video that showed me this tail number, N76977. So I went to go see what flights that plane took on the day that this video was recorded. And there actually weren't any, but there were a few flights on the day before. And I suspect that the first flight of that previous day from Bremington, Washington to Independence, Oregon was the flight during which this video was recorded. The flight path goes right over that approximate area that I had located, but the data from that flight suggests that it was a bit west of where I had initially estimated. I was off by about 2,800 feet or about 850 meters. Okay, time to check which previous location was closest to this one. And in this case, it was a fairly recent one, episode 223 in Olympia, Washington. The location in this video, or at least the location on the grounds directly below the plane, is about 24 miles or 38 kilometers from the location in that video in Olympia. That's all for now, guys. Check out the map of all the places I found for you so far. And if anybody else would like me to find them, record a video where you say, find me, Jose Monkey, or something like that on camera, or hold up a sign that says something similar. And don't forget to tag me in a comment on that video.